the NBA season is only two weeks old here on ESPN. The Raptors come in with an up and down history when it comes to limiting their turnovers on offense. They're a bit of a question mark in this area, so they're hoping this will be one of their better nights. They will be challenged in this game versus the Mavericks, who come in with a very conservative defensive style. Don't expect to see a lot of jumping in the passing lanes because they force very few turnovers. So without further ado, let's send it to Bob Steele and Rod West across the border up in Toronto. Hello, everybody. It's nearly game time at the Air Canada Center in Toronto. Bob Steele here with Rod West at my side. Let's take a quick look at the starters tonight. Who's going to shine out there, Rod? Alvin Williams is a pretty good shooter, Bob, especially from three-point land. I'm interested to see if he can provide some clutch shooting. Okay, Rod, now let's head to center court for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions for the Dallas Mavericks. At center, Rafe LaFrent. At forward, Eduardo Nahara. At guard, Michael Finley. Also at guard, Steve Nash. Also at forward, Dirk Nowitzki. And now it's time to put the the yard for Rado Rucker. At center, from Houston, 17th season. Number 34, Hakeem Olajuwon. At forward, Adam Nusak, six foot nine. Number 33, Antonio Davis. At the other forward position, out of Michigan State, six foot seven. Number 24. Morris Peterson. At guard, out of Philadelphia, six foot five. Number 20, Alvin Williams. Also at guard, from North Carolina, six foot six. Number 50, Smith. The Raptors corral the opening tip off. Ball, ball, ball. Passes it. Pass back. Stay tight inside. Seven on the shot clock. Gets cut off by Nash. Uses the crossover. Puts it up. Off the left rim and out by Williams. Tries a two-handed jam, but it's missed by Elijah Wong. Nash has it. Nice rebound by the five-year man out of Kansas. Nowitzki is looking for the ball. Goes with the fadeaway. Puts too much on it. Finley has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. The ball's loose! Davis passes it. Pass to the paint. Seven seconds to shoot. Let's it go from 17 feet out. Doesn't get it all the way there. You cannot beat that kind of hands-on, in-your-face coverage. And it's so constant, too. That's a good example of how you play defense. Bounce pass. Fades away inside. Get back iron and out. Levitsky should have won that matchup inside, especially considering how good he is. Passes. Tries the spin move. Gets stopped by Finley. Goes with the crossover. Puts up the shot. Finn. Carter! Nowitzki inbounds the ball. Just over three minutes here in the first quarter. I got it. Fred, Fred. Nash dishes Watch it off. Right. Gets cut off by Peterson. Caught by Nahara. Releases. Rickles the twine. Get him. 
The Raptors are at the controls. They're shooting 25% from the floor. Williams elevates. Goes for it from the lane. Passes it. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Gets the kind bounce off the back Wait, rim. The Raptors have the rock. They're two out of their last five from the floor. Watch out inside. Passes. Takes a turnaround. Jay can't answer back. Oh, Bobby. Elijah Juan capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. Just under two minutes here in the first quarter. What's the pick? What's the clear out? Two, Nash two, two, makes the pass. Switch, switch. Seven low. seconds to shoot. The J was missed by LaFrance. Come on, Deep. Passes it. LaFrance should think twice before he takes that shot. And if he still wants to shoot it, he should think a third time and a fourth time. That's not his game. Puts it up inside. Banks it in. LaFrance with the inbound. Passes. Gets airborne. Gets fouled. He'll shoot a pair. Easy call right there. He was mugged. He gets the first of two. David will come back onto the floor. He'll head to the bench. I got him. The Raptors head into the front court. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Williams passes. Pretty full counter. 305. Williams goes up. Gets the lay in. Alvin Williams. 58 seconds here in the first quarter. Passes it. Inside, inside. Stolen. He's in the NBA, Bob. He should have known better than to pass the ball with that kind of angle. The Raptors could add to their lead with a bucket this trip down. Inside, Passes. Inside. Carter pops it up from 19 feet. Puts up a miss. Carter has to take the blame for that. That pick was pretty good, and he should have been able to lose that defender. Side the Mavericks bring it up. They're two out of their last five from the floor. Count that last jumper this by Van Exel. Williams throws it in. Williams brings it up. He has four points from the paint. Jumps up. Bottles the lay in. Way to clean the offensive class right there. Peterson, Peterson gets the second chance bucket. I got it. 13 seconds here in the first quarter. Nash takes a quick shot. Bounces it off the left rim, then in. Now that's a guy that can light it up from out there. You have got to watch out for him. Williams passes it. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 12 to 10. The Raptors have the lead after one period, Ryan. What's been the key stat as far as you're concerned? Assists, Bob. They aren't passing it around like their opponents have been doing, but they're still coming out on top offensively. They need to clog the passing lanes and slow the other team down to preserve this lead. Van Exel has the ball. Van Exel launches from beyond the arc. Drains the lightly contested shot. Williams inbounds the ball. Roll, roll it. The Raptors have the ball. They're shooting 54% from the floor. Passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Peterson dishes it off. Launches from beyond the arc. Gets the front rim. Peterson had everything going his way, but that wide open three wouldn't fall for him. The Mavericks would love to extend their lead this trip down. Bounce pass. Shoots. Can't drop down his shot. Levitsky was playing the percentages there. He generally makes that shot, but not that possession. Passes. They work it in. Releases from the stripe. 
Bart connects off the front Peterson. rim. Bob, he did a real nice job of getting a difficult shot to fall. The Mavericks ball, ball, are at the controls. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Nash leaves the ground, gets the lay-in. Davis with the inbound. Get up. Williams has the ball. He has four points from the paint. Passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Pulls the trigger from 18. Takes the lead. Lobbed. Van Exel shoots, puts too much on it. Nick Van Exel has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. Received by Carter. Williams springs up. Goes for it from the lane. Nash passes the ball. Van Exel puts it up. Not nice this time. Keep it up. That's a nice job fighting all the offensive boards. Dipped up, but not in by Nowitzki. Williams is at the controls. He's three out of his last four from the floor. Fires from 14. It's the far iron, but it goes in. Finley throws it in. Just over two minutes here in the second quarter. Passes. Nash goes with the fadeaway. Can't stop the run. Good rebound on the inside. Yanks it down inside. LaFrance doesn't have a flashy inside game, so he has to earn everything the hard way. Now in the paint. Peterson elevates. Gets the lead. The Mavericks work it up court. They're shooting 42% from the floor. Passes it. Gets airborne. Takes up his fifth point of the quarter. He has a total of seven. Pick him up. Williams has the rock. He's shooting 75% from the floor. Carter makes the pass. Gets stopped by Van Exel. There's the seal. The Mavericks have the rock. They're one out of their last six on the floor. Watch the pick. Passes. IV. Seven on the shot clock. Get him. Get up. Nash launches from beyond the arc. Here's the front rim. Nash comes away empty, but he was playing pretty well on that. I'm not surprised he missed it. Williams brings it up. He's three of four from the floor. Top of the key. Ball, ball, ball. Seven seconds to shoot. Davis has it. Davis yes. takes a shot from the elbow. Gets it to fall. They can go two for one here if they hurry, Bob. The Mavericks head into the front court. They're shooting 50% from the arc. Caught by Van Axel. Pin down, pin down. Into the low post. Davitsky takes the turnaround, Jay. Can't answer that. That's how you fight for the offensive rebound. Nowitzki capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. Carter with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Carter passes. Takes a quick shot. Now is in double figures. Nowitzki inbounds the ball. We've reached halftime with the score 26 to 19. Well, let's send it to Clark in the studio for a little halftime recap. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The Raptors have a sizable advantage in the field goal percentage category, and that's why they're winning. Expect them to continue looking for the high percentage shots in the second half. Antonio Davis in the first half has a total of two points and five rebounds. A clear choice for our Sega Sports hot at the half player. That will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN postgame show at the conclusion of the game. We'll send you back to Bob and Rod. Substitution for the Raptors. Substitution for the Mavericks. Passes it. Uses the crossover. Puts it up. A finger Finley. roll was dropped in by Finley. Finley has a crossover move that's the envy of most NBA players. We've got to see it on that play. 
Williams has the ball. He has six points from the paint. Elijah Wan passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Fires puts too much on it. Carter has an amazing crossover, but if you can't score after making that move, then it doesn't matter. Pass low post. Novitski from inside, off the mark. Novitski is a proud warrior inside, so he has to be a little humble when he blows an easy one like that. The Raptors can extend their lead this trip down. They'd love to do that. Off the back rim and out by Peterson. The Mavericks can trim this lead down and bring it close with the bucket here. Passes. Finley fires from the right block. Can't drop down his shot. Oh, Bobby, you've got to like the way he ripped that one down. Went in for the layup, but it's off the mark by LaFrance. Williams is at the controls. He's three out of his last four from the floor. Goes with the crossover. With the rejection. LaFrance dishes it off. Passes it. They push it inside. Shoots from 12. Gets it to fall. He's money from there. The defender really had his work cut out for him there. Against a superb inside guy like that, you've got to bring your big game. The Raptors bring it up. They're shooting 59% from the floor. Williams elevates. Gets the lay-in. Nahara with the inbound. Just under three minutes here in the third quarter. Passes. Nash goes with the fadeaway. Doesn't get it all the way there. You cannot beat that kind of hands-on, in-your-face coverage. And it's so constant, too. That's a good example of how you play defense. Seven seconds to shoot. Grabbed by Peterson. The J was moved by Peterson. The Mavericks have the ball. They're two out of their last six from the floor. Peterson has to score in that situation. When you're that much better than the defender that's guarding you, you have to take advantage. Novitski passes the ball. Seven on the shot clock. Nice laying off the glass by Novitski. Williams has the rock. He's shooting 80% from the floor. Passes it. Shoots. Bounces off the left rim and out. Davis has the uncanny ability to blow even the easiest shots inside. And that's sad. Nash heads up court. He's two of five from the floor. LaFrent commits the charge. That's his first foul of the game. Now he went with the crossover, the tried to get free, but the D didn't go for that at all. You better bring your credit card, because that's a charge. Peterson throws it in. Williams with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Three up. Passes. Uses the crossover. Harder gets airborne. Gets the bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for one more. He completes the three-point play. I got it. The Mavericks are at the controls. They're shooting 50% from the arc. Finley has the ball. In the paint. Fades away inside. Gets right iron, no good. Now by Williams. Williams has it. He has eight points from the paint. Olajuwon shoots from the top of the key. He gets back iron and out. Olajuwon has a decent mid-range jumper, so that's a good shot even though it didn't fall for him. 50 seconds here in the third quarter. Pass to the paint. Puts it up inside. Gets his sixth point of the period. Is a total of eight so far. They can go two for one here if they want, Bob. Let's see how they manage the clock. The Raptors could add to their lead with a bucket this trip down. Williams makes the pass. Let's it go from 17 feet out. Clicks it and now has 15. Nowitzki inbounds the ball. Ball, ball, ball. The Mavericks work it up court. They're one out of their last two from the arc. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop in the lightly contested shot. 
Steve Nash took the right shot. He didn't hit it, but you have to believe he's going to make that shot a lot more than he's going to miss it. Amazing play, Rod. Let's check it out on the replay. Nash has the ball. He hasn't hit a shot from the arc. Takes a quick shot. Gets a tough shot to fall. You don't see him taking or making many of those. We've just finished the third quarter. The score, 35 to 30. The Raptors still cling to a small lead going into the fourth. What's been the key stat so far, Rod? Three-point shooting, Bob. The shooting numbers between these two teams aren't even close. They need to forget about those threes and concentrate on maintaining this lead. to shoot. The Raptors have the rock. They're shooting 60% from the floor. Williams commits the charge. That's his first foul of the game. Nahara with the inbound. The Mavericks can cut into the lead with a basket here. Watch out inside. Nash passes. The steal. Passes. Elijah Wan takes the wide open shot, hauls it in by Nowitzki. Now you're gonna see that shot go in most of the time. Big break for the defense. Now left wing. Goes with the crossover. Nash puts it up, takes it in. I thought the D would have shut that one down in a hurry, but never underestimate this guy. He gets the job done. The Raptors head into the front court. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Passes it. Carter goes with the fadeaway. Can't answer back. Carter was a victim of bad luck on that one. He did everything right, but that rim just wouldn't cooperate. Nash is at the controls. He's one out of his last three from the arc. Nash passes it. Seven on the shot clock. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't tie it up. As an old coach, I love this matchup on the outside. A couple of the best duking it out. And it looks like the defense won that round. The alley-oop was thrown in by Carter. Now Harad throws it in. Nash has the rock. He's one of four from the arc. Passes. by Nahara. They're inside. Fades away inside. Puts too much on it. Vitsky can't believe he blew that one and neither can I. No excuse at the finish when you're that close. Bounce inside. Seven seconds to shoot. And loads from deep, deep, three-point range. Gets the front rim. He's got his rebounding fundamentals down, Bobby. He sure does, Roddy. He anticipates where the ball's going to go, boxes out, and then cleans up. Finley fires from the right block. Gets nothing but net. Pick him up. Williams with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Williams dishes it off. Shot clock. A favorable bounce. Helped that long shot by Elijah Wan. Nice shot. Had the matchup he wanted. Got the points he wanted. The Mavericks have it. They're shooting 40% from the arc. Davitsky launches from beyond the arc. Hands it and gets his 11th point of the game. Davitsky found the soft spot in the defense. They weren't guarding him on that shot at all. Williams heads up court. He has eight points from the paint. Peterson now has it. By Nash. The Mavericks can tie it up with a basket this trip down. You just saw a really smart play on defense, Bobby. You watch for that crossover dribble, and then you get in there for the steal. That is textbook basketball. Elijah Wan grabs the defensive board. The Raptors bring it up. There's zero on their last two from the arc. Davis wants the ball. There's the steal. 
steal. Perfect timing of the double team, Bob. You can look it up if you don't believe me. They trapped down low. The man had nowhere to go, and the defense came away with the steal. That's what they wanted. Finley puts it up inside. Can't get it to fall. That was a one-in-a-million stop right there, Bob. You know, he must not have made his offering to the basketball gods yesterday. The Raptors will take a timeout here. Well, friends, coming back in after sitting on the bench for a while. Peterson inbounds the ball. Unloads 10 feet out. Doesn't get it all the way there. He's almost a guaranteed deuce from that range, but the D kept a little bit closer than his shadow. He's going away empty-handed. The Mavericks will take a timeout here. Rises up. Gets him to bite in the fake. And then lays it in. Timeout, Bob, this was good defense, but an even better balancing act by the two. Easy to see the contact, Rob. But look at the body control to get this off. Highlight film material, my man. Big time shot. Passes it. from beyond the arc. Picks up his fifth point of the quarter. He has a total of 12 so far. They made a mistake right there. You cannot leave an NBA guy that open from beyond the arc. Even some of the big guys going to hit that shot. Takes a shot from the elbow. Gets the game winner up, but unfortunately not in. Tough way to lose this one. That's the end of the ball game. Your final score, 42 to 41. And that wraps it up. Be sure to tune into Sports Center to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Mavericks come away with a one-point squeaker over the Raptors. They now move to 2-2 two and two on the year. The Mavericks statistically played a pretty even match tonight, but they were the hungrier team. You can't find desire on any official stat sheet, but tonight, that's what proved to be the difference. Dirk Nowitzki wound up with a total of 11 points and 10 rebounds. He will get our ESPN Player of the Game. What a player. Well, that will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you next game.